anybody out there? What is going on here? Welcome to Freelance Web Developer. My name is Chris Torian and this is Website Ripping. But first, a disclaimer. As long as I get my microphone in place. I have nothing to do with these websites that we're about to see. <clears throat> Nobody paid me to critique these sites. That being said, let's get started. Today's victim is... Howard Hanna, commonly known as HowardHanna.com. Now, Howard Hanna is a real estate agent developer, obviously, and this is his website. What we're going to be looking at is how his website looks in Firefox. Notice that we're using Firefox up here. See that? Now, what we're seeing here is a problem. There's a really major problem with this website. I've already looked at it before and it works fine in Internet Explorer 8, okay? But somehow it's not rendering the same in Firefox. So what's the problem? So what I want you to do is tr look at this website and tell me where you think the problem lies. There's a glaring horrible problem visible to me. I've seen it so many times I know what it looks like. But it's not apparent right here. Give up? Here's a clue look right here where it says these homes see that these homes it's chopped off what's wrong this is a graphics image here so what's what happened why is that chopped off another clue is over here see when I drag the mouse watch see that there's something going on oops underneath here so that being said let's look at it in Internet Explorer 8. See the difference? Watch this. I'm going to drag this over here and you'll see these two websites side by side. On the left here is Firefox. Over here on the right is Internet Explorer. See the difference? See what's going on here? This is filled in with the logo background. It's gone. What's happening is this whole part here is being pushed down in Internet Explorer 8. Here, it's not being pushed down. And what's not pushing it down? It's this thing. Dun, dun, dun. This is called a drop down menu bar. This menu bar is not pushing down the rest of the web page in Firefox. Okay? So, what we're going to do to debug this, and this is what you can do when you're a freelance web developers you could get a client like this that calls you up you've never talked to him before he's got your name from somewhere and he says that or he heard that you're a good web developer so he's gonna give you point you to this website he's gonna say hey there's something wrong here can you fix it and if you can fix it how much is it gonna cost well you have to go and look at his website really quickly he's not going to give you the source code necessarily so you're not going to be able to look at his code and figure out what's going on but you can use the advanced tools like Firebug in Firefox to debug this problem just from your home. And you can find out what's going on, then you can get back to him and quote him a price based on real knowledge. Instead of saying, gee, I think I know what, what it is, and it's only going to cost you 20 bucks. Well, it could take you two days to figure it out. So first of all, let's look at our tools. Click on Tools on Firefox and click on add-ons. These two tools, Firebug and Web Developer, are what I use all the time. So what I'd like to have you do is install these two as a, as a minimum. Okay, now that we have that installed, click here on this little guy here. This is your Firebug tool. The Firebug console comes up and we're going to separate it by clicking this thing. Now it's separated. I can put this right up near where I want to find the problem. Because again, this is where the problem lies. So what I do is I click on this thing, which is the the tag inspector. So click on that. And then hover. See how it's highlighting? Hover over the first place where you think the problem starts. And it's right there. And when I look down here, I can see that I'm in the right place. See how it's showing that region um, graphic? this is the right place but that's not where the problem lies so what we do is is you scan up here watch my my mouse see how all these 
all these um, tags or elements are containing the the area that we're talking about. So we want to try to collapse this and find exactly where the problem lies. See, we've got divisions like this one here. And if you look at the web page, you'll see it's all highlighted in blue. We're on the right area. But we go up, now we're in a table. See this table? And I know that it's this row, TR, that's table row, table row. The first row, this top row, holds the logo in the background. This row holds the the drop-down menu bar. This is what's not expanding. But the problem doesn't lie here, although you may think it does. So we keep going backwards to find the highest containing block. Here, under this division called main header, it's containing the whole thing. We can go back up further, but you can see, if you look at the web page, this, this division contains the whole web page. That's too far up. This is the first division that contains everything. So if we look at that right there, see if you expand everything you'll see everything's all down here. See? All the way down to this part. So collapse all this stuff and we're going to concentrate just on this division. When we look over here the height is set to 92 pixels. I know by looking at this 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 page 92 pixels is too small. It's not high enough to contain both the logo banner and the the menu drop down. Also all you have to do is take this off. We just click here. Boom. Watch the web page. I'm going to turn this height on and off. See? There is your problem. One line of code pulled out. Boom. You're an expert. You're an expert. Now we can further test this by putting a value in here. Let's put in just like add 100 pixels. See how it's pushing everything down? Look at that. See it pushed it down even further. So we know that is where the problem lies. But if you just turn it off, where'd it go? Here it is. If you just turn it off, the browser will expand everything to accommodate the content that's within it. Okay? See how that works? really nice really nice so you can go back to your client and say I, I indeed know what the problem is um, if you you could actually take a, a, a screenshot of this and email it back to your client and say look I fixed it in Firefox you're not showing him what you've done but you're just showing him that you can fix it because you don't have his source code you can't change it until you see his code um, so you can go back and say, yeah, I know what the problem is, and I'm, and I'm very confident that I can fix it in a reasonable amount of time. So then you can quote them a price, whatever that is. Um, at this point, what you have to do then is you just you, you want to make sure that this change isn't going to break it in other browsers like Internet Explorer. So what we're going to do is, this is part one. So in part two, we're going to investigate making this change, the same change that we just did, in Internet Explorer and I'll show you how to do that so that you can continue to debug this problem if you want to take the time and you and you could say and you can make the change here in Internet Explorer which is what we're looking at right now see notice how it works here fine I don't have to change anything but you want to make sure that if you make a change um, in Firefox that it works in both places okay there's my warning buzzer I have to to click off so you can bring up part two and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll investigate the rest of this. See ya.